So you want to add the Elementor for free into your WordPress.com so we can add a pop-up ad. So let's get started, guys. I'm going to be showing you how we can do this totally for free. So if you don't have an account, if you don't have a website, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can sign up and you can start totally for free. So now that we have an account created, we are now into the dashboard. So if you already have an account, it would be just as easy to go into the plugins and install the Elementor. But if you uh, see it so far, the Elementor, I'm going to tap it in here. I'm going to just open and close this. As you can see, the Elementor website builder requires a plan upgrade. So what you want to do to have the Elementor uh, added here, you want to, of course, upgrade your plan in order to start this plugin and the price is a little bit up so what I want to do is to go back into the search results and I want to look for something called the Wolento and for that what I want to do of course is to create or import my very first free WordPress plugin so we can enable all those pro features without having to pay because the price are really really um, hide. So I'm going to click into download. I'm going to leave you, of course, the link down below with this great. Uh, or if you don't want to wait, you can go into the proelements.org, hit into save. And here is the pro element already been added like this. So what I want to do now is to go back here into my actual uh, WordPress. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to close this one once again. And here I want to look for plugins. So here into plugins, uh, I do have different options that I can use. So go into plugins, install plugins, add new. And here I want to go into add new, upload my plugin, choose my file. I'm going to hit into the downloads. I'm going to select the element which is selected. I'm going to go into the install now. Let's see if this one is working for us. So I'm going to go back here. Of course, you want to have your account into Patheon.io because you don't want to pay for a business plan if you um, happen to have this option that says that ah, I believe that this is not actually for us, blah, 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 blah. So you have to worry about that. Here, as you can see, the Get uh, Elemental uh, Activated Pro, View Details, and not that. So as you can see, the Pro Elements has been added right away. So I'm going to go into the Install Plugins, Active. Here's the Elemental, the Pro Elements, and I think we are now ready to go. So what you want to do now is to actually visit the plugin side. So here I'm going to go back, of course, because I don't want to focus a lot in here. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into my dashboard like this. And here is my Elementor stuffed. So what you want to do now is to actually get started here into your own stuff. So you can go into the actual uh, Elementor. So once I connected my Elementor stuffed here inside my actual uh, website, what I want to do is to look out for the Elementor here. As you can see, it is connected here. How the settings, submission, custom fonts, everything looks so great now. So go back here into our stuff here. I'm going to go into my dashboard. So you're going to go into the create my new page. Like that. Here is my loading page. I need to, of course, start to add whatever I want to do. So uh, whether I can just start from scratch or I can use another elemental stuff. So if you don't know how to get started, I can go here. And here you're going to go into my Elementor, or I can go into my templates, of course, because this is going to be much more faster. And here, what you want to do is to add a new. I want to choose template type. I want to choose the pop-up. Name template, welcome landing page, create my template. There we go. And it's going to be sending us into the pop-up sections. So let's say, for example, that I want to look for this one. Actually, this one is the one that I was looking for. So I'm going to hit into the insert. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is to go actually into my elements. That's we were just here before into the elements or stuff. Both of them are exactly the same. So focus into the item that you want to add. Let's say, for example, I'm going to add this image like that. And here I want to choose an image. I want to insert from media or from my URL and let's say I want to look for some travel photos like that and I want to use this image and I'm going to copy the image address and I'm going to paste that into my elements or 
like this and insert my medium. <laughs> Actually, this is too uh, tiny, so I think you just move that like that. Here's the caption, here's the link, and you want to hit into style and you can change that as you want to. Now, in my case, I don't want to focus a lot in here because I do, don't have the actual copy image address, so I want to look for something a little bit more different. For example, this one. And hit into the insert medium, like that. And here's my style. Here's my actual advanced tools. I'm gonna to leave everything like this. And I'm gonna hit into save options. I'm gonna hit into published. And here into the conditions. Here is the add conditions. And here's the entire site, the triggers on page load. So uh, this is was something just really, really easy to add. I mean, if I want to change the actual attributes, I can do that in here. But in my case, I think that I just want to look for something a little bit uh, different. For example, I'm going to go into the exit page. I'm going to hit into the apply, hit into the leave button. And I want to look out for a new template that I can use into my actual uh, website. So so we do have these now popped up uh, section. So here into the pop-up, let's say into the about us, let's say use this selection to describe your many company, blah, 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 learn more. So what you want to do is to connect this into a new page, right? So we want to make the pop-up. So what I want to do now, where it says why choose us, I think I'm gonna just leave it like this. And what I want to do is to go into the publish one like this. I'm going to go into my landing section of my WordPress. So this one where it says button ID, I want to choose the field and I want to change that into the actual bio before after feedback. I'm going to hit into update like this. And here is the link of my actual style. But what I can do now is to go into my site settings here and I want to connect this one into another page. I'm going to go here into my actual templates or go into the pages, add new like this and let's go with some about us. So what I just need to do is to after I save this template, I'm going to go back here into my elements of WordPress like this. And I'm going to just take a look into how this my pages look like. So I'm going to hit into the dashboard or go into my actual pages, all the pages in here. I want to look for the pop up and here I want to click into the view. And here's my popped up the about us section. This is some pop that we just created in the very first part, but this is the second button. So I'm going to hit into learn more. So here is my new about section of my about us. So this one has been redacted actually into the new page that we're the pop up here. So I can change that and look for the actual link. For example, here, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into my actual page. I'm going to go into the, all my pages. Here is my about us section. I want to get into view. Like this is just like another tool that you can use. Just copy this link and paste that in here. And you can update that. Wait a few seconds here. And then what you want to do, do is to reload the page and figure it out this one is not working. So pop up number one and pop up number two. So there, this is how we can make some popped up. I think that I need just to edit this one because I just want to see this into the very first part of my uh, website, not in the two of them. So with that being said, guys, we've really reached into the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great, amazing tools about the actual WordPress and all the pop-ups. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.